Namaste. Welcome to your rocket practice. Um, rocket is a very brief intro. It follows a set sequence, so it's get, it gets its inspiration from Ashtanga. Um, it's called rocket because it's very fast, and normally it's done 75 minutes. But for this particular practice, we'll try to squeeze everything into 45 to 50 minutes. So. Just try to, um, just don't forget to breathe. Uh, no child's pose for this particular practice, but at any point that you may need to stop, you're free to stop. Um, options will be given, definitely. Just try not to pressure yourselves in coming into the pose. As a general rule for this particular rocket practice, maybe three tries, especially for the handstands. And after three, tie, uh, three tries, you're not able to do it, just let it go, okay? And just continue with it move and flow. When you're ready, please find yourself to the top parts of your mat. Coming into your Tadasana. Making sure that the toes are grounded. The elbows are pointing down, rolling the navel and hugging the armpits to the side body to palms. Maybe at the center of your heart center and bowing your head down. Just a short moment of stillness here. As we try to be aware of our bodies, be aware of our breaths, be aware of the energy loss starting from our feet to our hips, to our core, to our pelvic floor, to the shoulders, the throat, and to the palms. We may be thinking of a sound intention for today's practice. Taking this intention as a source of guidance and strength as we move and breathe. Gently bring the hands on the sides. One breath, one movement, inhale upwards, you see both hands up on stretch. Exhale, draw the navel in, reach from the hips, move forward and down. Inhale, half the left leg from the spine, look towards your nose. Exhale, step forward, jump back, high plank, and look push up. Inhale, scoop forward here, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, higher with the hips down, we're facing off. And we're staying here just for three cycles of the breath. Making sure that the, there's space between the shoulder blades and those are pointing towards the front. And drawing the knee home. And so one more breath, inhale. And exhale, looking at the space between the hands. Step forward, hopping between the hands, halfway then please. And as you exhale, fall down, keep drawing the knee home. Inhale, we rise for the extension, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, bring your hands into your heart, face and into the slots. Second round of your Surya Namaskara, A. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, draw the navel in. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, draw the navel in as you look to the nose. Exhale, step forward, jump back, Chaturanga, then Dasana, no push. Inhale, scope forward, look for the face and dog. And as you exhale, down on your face and dog. Stay here, one, two, three, four, and five. Step forward, hop in between the hands, halfway left feet. Exhaling to fall. Inhale to rise, full extension, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, bring your hands in your first place and into the sides. Third round, inhale, upward salute, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, descend to control, forward fall. Inhale, half your left leg from the spine, look towards your nose. Exhale, chaturanga and dasana. Option, you may bring the knees down if it's too much. Inhale, upward facing dog with an in breath. And as you exhale, high with the hips, down and facing dog. Keep pushing the floor forwards and downwards as you push the hips up and back. But avoid flaring the ribcage out. Don't you really press the navel to the spine and keep the ribcage moving closer to each other. Towards the navel if it feels right, for one more round of the breath, inhale. And exhale, look at the space between the hands, step forward, hop in between the hands, halfway left knees. Exhaling to fold. Inhale to rise, we both hands of palms touch. Exhale, bring your hands into your heart space and into the sides. Someone to keep. Surya be rocket style, inhale, chair pose. Spend the steps back, so you both hands up. Exhale, descend with control into forward fold, heads and shoulders relax. 
Inhale, half the left hand from the spine up towards your nose. Exhale, step forward, jump back, high back to the cushion. Inhale, upward facing dog with a deep breath. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel down, right hand goes behind you. Right foot steps forward, then relax. Feel up with the rest of the one. Exhale, right hand goes behind you, left hand touches the floor, step right foot backwards, right hand down, chat along with the nasal. Inhale, upward facing dog with a little breath, right step in if possible, and as you exhale, downward facing dog. This time, right heel down, left hand behind you, left foot steps forward, and we are ease. Feel up with the rest of the one. Exhale, left hand behind you, right hand touches the floor, step left foot backwards, left hand down, chat along with the nasal. Inhale, go forward, upward facing dog. Exhaling the downward facing dog. Five breaths here, one. So again, keep hugging the armpits to the side buttons. Thighs are rotting inwards to maintain the connection of your legs with the lower abs and the hips. For one more breath, inhale. And exhale, look at the space between the hands. Step forward, hop in between the hands, halfway left, please. Exhaling to fold. Inhale, sit on your imaginary chair, sweep both hands up. Exhale, stand tall, bring your hands into your heart space and to the sides. Two more sets. Inhale, chair pose, sink the knees down. Exhale, fold forward and down. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine with an in breath. Exhale, high plank to long push up, core engage. Inhale, swooping forward, upward facing dog. Exhaling the downward facing dog. You would left heel down, right hand behind you, right foot steps forward lightly. And we are this warrior one. Exhale, right hand behind you, left hand touches the floor. Step right foot backwards, right hand down the chat along with the vessel. Inhale, scope forward, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, right heel down, left hand behind you, left foot steps forward. And we are warrior one, keep the outer weight of the right foot grounded. Exhale, left hand goes behind you, right hand touches the floor. Left foot steps back, left hand down. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog with a new breath and as you exhale downward facing dog. Find stillness for five. One. So keep pressing the navel to the spine. Then close your pointing straight towards the front. And don't forget to breathe for one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Breathing at the space between the hands. Step forward, hop in between the hands. Half to the Exhaling to fold. Inhale, look at Hasana, chair pose, navel is still in. Exhale, stand tall, put your hands into your hips. Put your hands into your hips. Last round of your surya, be inhale, look at Hasana. Exhale, look at Hasana. Inhale, out of the look at Hasana. Exhale, chat along with the Hasana. Inhale, hold the mouth, push your Hasana. Exhale, add the mouth, push your Hasana. Let's feel that right hand behind you, picking up the pace, right foot steps forward and relax. Feel the Padrasana 1. Exhale, right hand behind you, left hand down, right foot steps back, right hand down, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathe in breath, and as you exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, right heel down, left hand behind you, left foot steps forward and relax. Warrior 1. Exhale, left hand behind you, right hand touches the floor, step left foot backwards, left hand down, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathe in breath, and as you exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here, one. Two, keep the thighs engaged. Three, four, hug our bits in. And five, look at the space between the hands, step forward, hop in between the hands, halfway lift. Exhaling to fold. Inhale, look at Hasana. Exhale, stand tall, put your hands into your heart space and to the side. First rocket pose, chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, hips back. This time we interlace the fingers as we press the palms of the sides. Keep lowering the navel again, keep hugging the armpits and side buttons. Keep the tail bones pointing down as you gaze to the palms. Just for one more breath, inhale. And exhale, cover the chest on top of the thighs, half chair. Keep space between the thighs and your body by lowering the navel in. Gaze towards the big toes for one more breath, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, stand up for a and a flow pose. Fingers, spread wide, finger pads on the floor, meet the knees on the thighs, and spend the elbows, coming into tippy toes. This is good already. Otherwise, lift one foot up, or maybe both feet up. For 
wherever you are staying. For one more round of the breath. Exhale, shut the mouth. And then, that's enough. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, down and facing dog. Stand the pose as left heel down, right hand behind you. Right foot steps forward and relax. We have a glass and a one. Protect the shoulders forwards and upwards. Roll your left thigh in. Pull the right thigh back to the hip joint. Release the thumbs, one more breath in here. And exhale, warrior two, facing the left side. Keep the arms extended, thighs coming back to the hip joint. The elbows are pointing down. Use towards your right fingers, one more breath in here. And exhale, take an breath straight to the right leg. Tilt the left foot closer to the right foot. Right hand reaches forward and down, left hand reaches up. Lead into the Konasana, triangle pose. And we stay on the right shin, and reaching for the big toes is not possible. Keep the rotation, right one more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, soft bend your right foot. Left hand on the left face. Transfer right hand a few inches in front of you. Take an in-breath, dash forward, take your left foot backwards. Keep chest open towards the left side if it feels right. Left hand reaches to the spice. Arm the chandrasana challenge, chase towards your right or your left fingers. Breathe for one more inhale. And as you exhale, looking down, left hand goes to the floor. Inhale, roll your left leg, left leg inwards, and as you exhale, the hands align with your right foot, high with the left leg stand. Step. Start looking fine, and if your leg is not straight, focus on rolling that left thigh in. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a breath, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step your left foot halfway close to the right foot. Rolling your right thigh outwards, left thigh rolling in. Option, left hand on the inner blade or on the outer blade of your Inhale, open chest towards the right side, and if it feels right, right hand reaches to the spots. Keep throwing the ribcage in, but I breathe the trikonasana. Just for one more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, look down, right hand on the right waist. Stands for left hand in front of you, as you soften your right knee. Inhale, dash forward, point left toes to the back. Exhale, open chest towards your right side, maybe right hand reaches to the spots. But I breathe the arm, the chandrasana. But then you will roll that left thigh in. Right, let's and breathe for one more inhale. And as you exhale, look down. Right hand touches the floor. Inhale for lengthening, and as you exhale, walk hands backwards, high with the left leg, and split. Option to stay here, challenge. Right hand behind your right thigh. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a breath, lengthen the spine, look forwards. Exhale, step your left foot all the way backwards. Leave that left heel back. Easy option, right elbow on the right knee or on the inner or the outer beat of your right foot. Inhale, left hand reaches to the slides. Exhale, left hand hovers on top of your left ear. Towards your left palm, and breathe. For one more round of the breath, side angle, pose in here. And exhale, rolling your left thigh in, inhale, be rise. Warrior one. Exhale, left elbow on the outer beat of your right knee. Coming into a twist. Easy option, you may lift your left heel up or maybe left knee down. Challenge, maybe extending the arms as well as taking this one or this one for one more breath in here. And exhale, keep looking down, inhale, we rise. Warrior one. Exhale, bring the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, we lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Crown of the head moving down, pull the right side of the hip backwards as you roll your left leg in. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take an in-breath for your eyes, warrior one. Exhale, we thread your right arm underneath your right thigh. Bring both hands to touch the floor. Easy option, just your desert variation, this one. If you can, spin your left heel. Straighten your right leg to the right side. Maybe bending the elbows. We're floating the left foot like a pad of the knees and let's move. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, step forward, jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, for your face and dog. And as you exhale, long right facing dog. Keep the knees and the elbows down, stand up for dog pin. You want to make sure elbows are shoulder width apart as you release the hands in front of you. Spreading the fingers wide, gaze at the space between the thumbs or the elbows. Inhale, lift the hips up, exhale, walk the feet forwards. This is good already, otherwise, maybe lifting your right foot up or maybe lifting both feet up. Wherever you are, stay and breathe for two more inhale. Exhale two. One more breath in 
inhale. Exhale, slowly bring the toes down. From your dolphin, press the palms down, lift the elbows together into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Doing everything on the other side, how are you guys? Be with your right heel down, left hand behind. Touch your steps forward and you rise. Where you're one. And then prepare the shoulders forward, facing upwards. Hold left hip backwards, roll right leg in. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, open up for your two, facing the right side. Adjust the right foot all the way backwards. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take an in-breath, straighten the leg. Get the right foot closer to the left foot if you must. Left hand reaches forward and down. Right hand reaches up, Release the knees and the shins. If touching the floor or the left big toe is not accessible, keep the rib cage in. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, look down, soften your left knee. Right hand on the right place. Stand for left hand in front of you, and then on an inhale, take your right foot all the way backwards. Maybe staying here, or maybe reaching your right hand to the spikes. Or the chandrasana. Challenge the towards your right fingers, inhale. And as you exhale, look down. Right hand touches the floor. Inhale, point right toes to the back, and as you exhale, stand in split. Move the hands backwards, foreheads moving closer towards the flesh. Again, hide the snot. More important, more important is you hold your left thigh in. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a breath, lengthen the spine of the chest. Exhale, step your right foot halfway close to the left foot. Building twisted triangle. Left thigh rolling outwards, right thigh rolling in, right hand on the inside or outside of your left. Inhale, open chest towards your left side, and if it feels right, left hand reaches to the spots. Keep your feet in, hold left side of the hip backwards. Breathe for one more inhale. And as you exhale, look down, soft bend, left knee, left hand on the left knees. Dance for right hand in front of you, and on an inhale, point your right toes to the back. Exhale, open chest towards your left side. Feels right, left hand reaches to the spines. Just then half moon, one more breath in here. And as you exhale, look down, left hand touches the floor. Inhale, we lengthen, and as you exhale, walk the hands backwards into standing split. This time, challenge you. If you can use your left hand to hold the back of your left heel. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, you can lift lengthen the spine, look forwards. Exhale, step your right foot all the way backwards. Setting up for side angle, easy option, left elbow on the left knee, or inside or outside of your left foot. With the limber right hand reaches to the slice, and as you exhale, right hand covers on top of your right ear. Both sides of the body is long, keep the navel in. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, looking down, holding your right thigh, and inhale, we rise. Warrior one. Exhale, right elbow on the outer rib of your left knee. Bring your twist over to your left side, maybe you stay here, easy option, bring your right heel up, or if you can, extend the arms, like staying and breathing for one more round of the breath in here. And exhale. Looking down, take a in breath, we rise. For your one, exhale, bring the arms behind you, and then use the fingers, roll the shoulders up back and down. Are you guys ready now? Take an in breath, lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior, crown of the head moving down. Easy option, left shoulder on top, or challenge on the inside of your left knee. Most facing between the palms if possible, and exhale. And exhale, take an in breath, lift the eyes. Warrior one. Exhale, left hand underneath your left thigh, bring both hands to touch the floor. An easy option, just desert variation. Maybe straightening your left leg, maybe bending the elbows, maybe pointing your right toes to the back. And kapada kundinyas in the One more breath in here. Exhale, chaturanga the nasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. From here, second round of your dog, in our pinch of Mario Rasana. If you lift up your right foot earlier, this time you lift your left foot. Then measure the elbows first, elbow shoulder width apart. Release the hands in front of you, spread the fingers wide, finger palms touching the floor, rounding on the floor. 
Só que eu estou sendo minha só. Axel, o que eu estou sendo 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 o que eu For one more breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly bring the feet down. Press the palms down, close the elbows into high plank. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, step forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, down the facing dog. And we are not stopping, we will walk the hands backwards. See if you can soft bend the knees. Bring the feet here for a distance apart. Use the option from here, grab the elbow of the opposite arm. Or if you can, these fingers grab the big toes. Take an in-breath, knee straighten the legs, step forward. And as you exhale, drawing the navel in, pull your big toes closer to your chest. If the elbows are bent, point them to the side, and if it will start to look at the space between the legs, and maybe towards your navel. Feel a stretch behind the thighs, and keep hugging the navel in. Bye bye, just last time, and inhale. And next, inhale, you know, take an in-breath, lift the chest. Exhale, soften the knees. Option to stay on the elbows, the big toes, or if you can, also the knee, the feet, close pressing behind the wrists. Inhale, be straight from the legs, look forward, and as you exhale, pull your feet closer towards you. Again, keep throwing the navel in, and as you engage the core, see if you can develop your body weight downwards. You really feel your body weight on the balls of your feet. One more breath, in Bada has fast in the hand, the feet closer. And as you exhale, soft bend the knees. Hands come to the waist. Take a moment to come into a standing position. Extend the arms to the thighs, and as you exhale, see if you can lift the heels up. Now we're not just lifting the hands up, the elbows are pointing down. Rib cage is hugging in, navel is pressing to the spine, and if you can challenge yourself, look at the space between the thumbs. Inverted position of your hands, stand up, yes, and breathe for one more inhale. And as you exhale, we will look down, release the waist. Now from here, Point your right toes towards your right side, and we step your left foot towards the front. Try to keep the feet parallel to each other, and maybe slightly pointing. Let me just adjust my back because it's there. Now from here, legs long and strong. Take an in breath, we sweep both hands up on the touch. Exhale, draw the navel in, hinge from the hips, pull forward and down. Entering back to prasari, the sequence in here will lengthen the spine, look towards your nose. Exhale, open the hands backwards, palms align with your heels. Bend the elbows, hinge from the hips, crown of the head moving down. Crown of the head is touched, not touching the floor, perfectly fine. If it's touching the floor, maybe just stay in prasadita. Your seat can go into your tripod headset. Wherever you are, stay. For two more cycles of the breath in here. Exhale, the shoulders away from the ears for one more breath in here. And exhale, take a minute, point the toes to the sides. Exhale, slowly bring the feet down. On an inhale, lengthen the spine, look forwards. Exhale, soft bend the knees, hands on the waist. Take a minute, come into a standing position, sweep both hands up. Exhale, we set up for me, hands on the waist. Elbows pointing to the back. We want to make sure feet are still parallel to each other or pointing inwards. On an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, drawing the navel in, hinge from the hips. Both forward and down. No more than bringing the crown of the head to touch the floor, see if you can lift over it in your head. Breathe for one more breath, inhale. And exhale, feet legs long and strong, take it in the left the chest, sweep both hands to the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the arms behind you and release the fingers to the shoulder blades. On an inhale, we lift the chest, exhale, pull forward and down. Now, so you just see, see if you can eliminate the space in between the palms. As you thread the head at the space between the legs, if possible, only if possible, breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a minute. Come into a standing position, sweep both hands up. Exhale, these fingers grab the big toes. Take a minute, lift the chest. Exhale, pull the big toes closer towards you. And then press it into the feet. Bring the elbows to the side, shoulders lifting away from the ears and the floor. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a minute to lengthen the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, bring the hands on the floor. This is where the fun part starts. We're going to do your handstand caps. Maybe you can do it in this direction so that you can see. Now, so from here, there's no really need to hop. 
Pastor Lita Stanis, you wanna bring your hands on the floor. Now your hands shouldn't be super open, just, you know, just 70 or 80 percent open. And again, you have to keep the armpits hanging. Bring the shoulders beyond the wrist, lifting the heels up. This is one good option, and still bring the knees down. That's good already. Otherwise, shift the shoulders beyond the wrist, if you can hop, drop the feet, and then bring the toes as quietly as you can. Try to can shift the body forward, shoulders beyond the wrist, hop. See if you can time the time. Whatever you are here saying, for two more cycles of the breath, inhale. Exhale two. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly bring the toes down. From here, let me change the view. From your right side, heel to the feet as wide as they can be. Keep the feet parallel to each other. And stay in here. If you can come down to the elbows, come down to the elbows. Now avoid pushing the butts up. What you want to do is to engage the board and keep the tailbones pointing down. Sama ko na sa Chinese lift. Spare one more round of the breath in here. And exhale, take the press the floor away from you, left the chest. We can change the view first. And as we exhale, we're gonna walk our hands towards your right leg. Keep your left knee down. Take an in-breath and straighten your right leg like those pointing to the sides. If you have split or both both split. Now the goal in your front split is not to bring the hips down. It's really to keep your back thigh rolling inwards and your front thigh rolling outwards. This will allow you to access your kali panda. Or the energy lock on the hips. So the heels right come down to the elbows. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale. You can press the palm down, lift the chest. Exhale, you walk the hands to frame your left leg. Right knee is down this time. Take an in-breath, you straighten your left leg. Exhale, you slide your left leg forwards. Again, fold the left thigh backwards, fold the right thigh in. Maybe just stay here. And maybe fold it forward, forward and up. Perfectly fine to stay in your half split as well. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take another press the palms down, lift the chest. Exhale, you walk the hands to face towards your right side. Now from here, see if you can create or bring the hands aligned with your heels and the elbows. See if you can heel toe the feet in front of you. See if you can sit on top of your biceps. Maybe just this one. Or maybe bring the toes to touch. Maybe interlocking the legs. Or maybe straightening one foot or both feet into your butterfly. Just a transition for one more round of the breath inhale. And as you exhale, find your way to ground the hips now. We're gonna sit down, but we're not gonna stop. Opo vesh to konasana sequence. Straighten the legs as wide as they can be, roll the thighs outwards. Inhale, sweep both hands up, face to the palms. Exhale, hands touch the outer base of the feet, fold forward and down. If you can now hold the outer base of the feet, maybe the back of the thighs or the thumbs. Now instead of playing the chest down, see if you can float your chest and your chin away from the floor. And you wanna make sure thighs are rolling outwards. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take an in breath length in the spine, sweep both hands up. And as you exhale, this time left hand goes underneath your right thigh. We're gonna do it this time in mirror image. Inhale, right hand reaches to the sides. Exhale, side bends over to your left side. See if you can use your right hand. Either just to reach towards your left side or maybe grab the outer blade of your left hand. Whichever feels right. Deep for one more inhale, keep chest open, stretch, right side body. And exhale, take a left length in the spine, sweep both hands up. This time, right hand underneath your left thigh. Take a name breath, left hand reaches to the sides. Exhale, side bend, lower to your right side. Maybe this one, maybe this one, or maybe this one, whichever it is. Keep both zip bones bound and thighs are rolling outwards. Breathe, inhale. And exhale, take a name breath, return to center, sweep both hands up. Exhale, bring the fingers behind the ears, elbows pointing to the back. Take an in-breath to lift the chest. Exhale, we hover the chest and the chin away from the front. Upo vish na po nasa na free hand. Elbows are pointing to the sides, please. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, take an in-breath length in the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, slowly release the hands. We're gonna turn to face the back side of your mat. Or we're gonna face your right leg. We're gonna practice your mula bandha chakra. There are several options here. 
If you have a box video, you may use them. You may place them on the sides of your bodies. Or you may place them to turn your right hand under. And then from here, see if you can wrap your left leg at the level of the tricep, the level of the elbow, and the level of the shoulder. Bring your hands on top of the block and lean forwards. Easy option is left about that. Second option, bring the butt up and then heel up. Exhale, bring the butt down. For full expression, step up. Come into a kapada kundinya, send it to you. Inhale, draw right knee closer to the chest. Exhale, bring the hands down. Now, whichever works for you, do it for one time. No need to hold the pose. And then we do it back here. Do it. And we'll press the palms down, lift the butt up. Maybe walking or pointing the right foot at the back. And your knee to the chest. And then bring the feet down. And we switch sides. This time we face the front side of your mat. This time left leg is straight. Right leg is pointing to the sides. As for the blocks of frame or left side, let's see if you can wrap the right leg at the level of the elbow, tricep or shoulder. It's on top of the block or without the block, if you don't have a block. The same we're going to go directly to the inside. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, walk. Shoot back. And then we come into your vinyasa. Upward facing dog. And as you exhale down, we're facing dog. Looking at the space between the hands, left walk or hop in between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall down. Easy option is grab. Your elbow of the opposite arm, and then just take any or reverse for your hands, whichever it was right for you. Following you have come into a standing position, lift your right knee up, and as you exhale, step your right foot all the way backwards, turn the face the back side of the room. This time your right thigh is rolling outwards, your left thigh is rolling in. Legs both left long and strong, and you will lift the chest. Exhale, we fall down, or so down. You want to feel here, right leg coming back to the hip joint, left leg is rolling in the knees. And so it's your right leg to keep the navel in the And exhale, taking a breath of the chest and the hips. Exhale, turn to face the left side. On the inhale, legs long and strong, left leg rolling in. Or it's right leg rolling in. And as you exhale, fall down. Or it's called Tanasana. Keep the navel in. Gazing towards the left, lift over one leg back to the hip. And exhale, taking the left into a standing position, open your chest towards the right side of your mat. Extend your arms to the sides, and as you exhale, hands on the waist, right foot steps beside your leg. Coming into your otita, or your standing balance sequence. This time I'll do it in mirror image. So, you're going to stand on your left foot. Straighten your right leg towards the front, right knee's fingers go on the right leg toes. Or easy option is this one. If the right leg is straight, fold forward and down. Breathe for one more breath, inhale. And exhale, take an infant lift the chest and the hips. This time, see if you can bring the right leg towards the right side, and if you must, look towards your left shoulder. Keep the tailbone pointing down. Keep the rib cage in, inhale. And exhale, looking towards the front, inhale, wing the right leg back to the front. If it's straight, fold forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest and the hands. Exhale, point your right foot to the front, hands on the waist, elbows are pointing to the back. Avoid leaning backwards, keep the chest and the hips aligned in one line. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a breath, bend your right knee. And as you exhale, straighten the right leg to the back. Inhale, extend the arms to the front, and as you exhale, hands touch the foot. Easy option for this one is to just come into either your warrior feet, and then your standing split. Or if you're up for the handstand challenge, and you feel like you need to warrior go to the wall. Otherwise, sweeping the hands on the floor. What you want to feel again, you're pressing your finger pads on the floor, or if it's your knee, before you leave, you want to, again, shift the shoulders beyond the knees. So when you come in here, shift the body forward, maybe hop with the left foot. Maybe hop and tap your right thigh with your left foot. Or maybe find your hand time. Staying 
Again, breathing for two more cycles of the breath. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, step walk. We jump back. Chaturanga. And then that's enough. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Looking at the space between the hands. Step forward, hop between the hands, halfway the knees. Exhale into fold. Inhale with your eyes, keep the hands on the sides. I mean, with everything. On the other side, how are you? Hands on the waist. This time we stand on your right foot. Straighten your left leg towards the front. If it's straight left, these fingers grab the left big toes, fold forward and up. Otherwise, modify, keep your left knee bent. Flex your left foot, left hand, and keep your left thigh. Whatever you are, stay for one more breath. Inhale. And exhale, take a breath, lift the chest and the hips. Exhale, left leg towards your left side, gaze towards your right shoulder. Breathe for one more, the bones are pointing down, inhale. And exhale, looking forward, inhale, straighten your left leg to the front. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, we straighten, or we point your left foot to the front, hands on the waist. And again, elbows are pointing to the back. Can you lift the left leg higher without leaning back ways? Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a little soft bend your left knee. Exhale, straighten your left leg to the back. With an in breath, extend the arms to the front. Exhale, hands touch the floor. Again, easy option. Just warrior and feet. You might want to focus on just rolling the left thigh in as you point it to the back. Maybe standing split. Again, rolling it outwards, focusing on the connection with your left leg and your left hip socket. Otherwise, if you're up for the handstand challenge, hugging armpits in ribcage to each other, shift the body forward, this time hopping on your right foot. Maybe tapping your left thigh with your right foot. Or maybe finding your hang time. Still breathe for two more. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, step walk, reach on back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Looking at the space between the hands, step forward, hop in between the hands, half your little feet. Exhale, legs to fold. Inhale, the right, keep the hands on the sides. Exhale, step on balancing pose. This time we're going to do your other bandha. If you have the full expression, I can see if you can bring your right leg in half lotus. Otherwise, easy option is figure four. As for the hands, for the easier option, right hand goes behind you. Hand holding the eye of the left elbow. Or if you can, grab the right big toe. If you are able to hold the right big toe, fold forward and down. Otherwise, just come into your comfy chair, bending with left knee. Flexing your right foot and breathe for one more round of the breath. Inhale. And exhale, those folding down. Take an in-breath, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, soft bend your left knee. Whatever you are taking in, come into a standing position. Exhale, release your right foot down. We go for the other side. Either figure four or full uh, half lotus. Left hand on the eye of the right elbow or your left big toe. Take an in, look for lengthen. Exhale, maybe funky chair or fold forward and down. See if you can bring. The forehead to a circle towards the right shin. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a breath, lengthen the spine up forwards. Exhale, soften your standing leg. Take a breath, come into a standing position. And as you exhale, release your left leg. Then, yes, inhale up for the Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga and lesson. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale down, facing dog. From here, step walk or hop into your seated position. And we're going to build the nest. So now, let me just fix my mat because it's this place. Yes, there. I'm going to straighten your legs to the front, hands pressing beside the hips. Inhale, we lengthen. And as you exhale, keep squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. Staying and breathing just for one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. This time, see if you can grab the peace fingers. Or see if you can grab the big toes using the peace fingers. Inhale, relax. 
and so forth. Or if it's hard to reach your neck, you bend your knees and see if you can move your legs towards extension. Perfectly fine if it's not straight, so long as you're feeling the stretch behind your thigh and your heart with the navel in. For one more breath, inhale. And next, if you can do that, it is fine. Exhale, you go to Pashin Motanasana B. Palms hold the balls of the feet. Inhale, be lengthen, and as you exhale, fold forward and down. Stay and breathe. For one more round of the breath, inhale. And exhale, if you can do that, it is fine. Lift the chest. Exhale, hands on the sides of the thighs. Or if you have blocks, you may use your blocks. From here, take an in-breath, lift the hips up. You may walk or you may lift your heels up. Shoot back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. From your ground, look, step forward or hop into seated position. And as you exhale, we bring the hands behind you. Now, from your easy option, we bend the knees. Keep hip for distance apart. Otherwise, full expression of the pose, keep the legs straight. Hands behind you, spread the fingers wide, inhale, press the palms down, lift the butts up. If the legs are straight, keep your ten toes pointing and touching the floor. Drop the head to the back if it feels right. Breathe in for Mutanasana for one more breath in. And as you exhale, slowly bring the hips up. We're gonna skip Vinyasa here. Yes, we're gonna skip three poses. So we're gonna go directly to your channel, Mr. So so from here, see if you can bring the sole of the right foot on your left inner thigh. And keep your right knee pointing to the side. Grabbing your left foot, taking in the length of the spine. And exhale, fold forward and down. Bind the right hand on the left wrist. Keep the palms facing to the front. Keep pulling the left thigh backwards. And keep grounding your right knee and your right hip down. Please go with your left big toe and breathe for one. And exhale, take a in breath, lengthen the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, release the hands behind the hips. On the inhale, press the palms down, lift the butt up. Exhale, we sit on top of your right heel. Crash in your left toes once again, inhale for lengthen. Exhale, fold forward and down. Minders, go right ahead, right hand on the left wrist. Breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a in breath, lengthen the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, slowly release the hands. This time, see if you can cross your legs. Hold your knees closer to the chest, flex the feet. We're going to practice your Mula Bandha checkout, but this time, with your knees. And holding the hands in front of you, if you have blocks, you may place your blocks underneath your palms. Easy option, just float the hips up. Exhale, bring the hips down. Otherwise, if you can swing back, this is okay. And then bring the butts down. And you go for the other side. This time we straighten your right leg, so lift the left foot on the right inner thigh. Catching your right foot, inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, fold forward and down. You can bind your this time, left hand on the right wrist. Keep pointing your elbows to the sides, elbows are not sagging down. Navel in and breathe for one more inhale. And exhale, take a in breath, lengthen the spine of the chest. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Press the palms down, lift the butt up, exhale, we sit on top of your left heel. Catching your right foot once again, inhale for lengthen, exhaling to fall down, binders left hand on the right wrist. Stay and breathe, keep your right knee pressing down, left thigh, or keep your left knee pressing down, right thigh coming back to the hip shoulder. For one more round of the breath, inhale. And exhale, take a breath, lengthen the spine, lift the chest, exhale, slowly release. This time we go Navasana on both foots. Squeeze the thighs together, hands behind the thighs. Inhale, maybe keeping the knees bent, shins parallel to the floor, maybe releasing the hands on the sides, or maybe pointing your toes to the horizon. Keep the leg cage in, and stay in for five, four, three, two, and one. Now from here, slowly release the legs. Handstand practice. So from here, maybe you can do your bakasana or if you have you don't have energy plan. Or for the handstand, we're gonna practice your knee 
just wishes or your top hand set. Okay, so from here, at any moment that you're leaping into hand setting and you want to make sure that the hands are not super open, just set them to your 80%. Fingers are bigger, but they're pressing down. And again, notice how the shoulders have to go beyond your hands. But for this particular hand stand, we're going to squeeze the legs together. And you're going to hop forward and hopping, you want to see your butt and come down as wide as you can see. Or maybe try to find your hand line. And as you find your hand line, you want to make sure the feet are pointing to the slides. You're staying and breathing for three, two, and one. Slowly come into your vinyasa. Upward facing dog. And down. Looking at the space between the hands, step up or hop to see that position. And as you exhale from here, let me just check. Yes, we are coming into here's a fine position there in your back. Several options here. You can actually come into your bridge. If you're building your bridge, keep the hands on the sides of the hips. Otherwise, hands inside the ears are just to the sides. Take a new breath, press the feet down, let the hips up, bridge, and release the hands underneath the butt cheeks. Feel people hands beside your ears and find that lift. Wherever you are, you want to, if you're going to, if you're coming into your room, you want to find or press your chest towards the back of your mouth. Take a breath for five, four, Three, that goes pointing towards the front face, two, and one. We all keep on chin to the chest, bend the elbows, top of the head, shoulder blades, hips on the floor, so you should use the hands on the sides, bend the hips down. We're going to modify the finishing sequence here. So from here, let's start with your right foot, see if you can cross your right foot on top of your left hand with your core, and with your left hand between the thighs, and then use the hands behind your left thigh. And now keep the spine flat on the mat and as you exhale, hop your belly closer to the chest. Flex the feet, feel the stretch on your right foot cheek. Stay in breathing. A little more cycles of the breath, inhale. Exhale to reclining pigeon pose. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, pick from here slowly. Release the hands, keep your finger for legs. This time, see if you can bring your Right knee on top of your left knee, squeezing the thighs together. Point your toes to the sides and see if you can use your hands to hold the top part of the feet. Inhale, hug your knees closer to the chest and as you exhale, squeeze the heels to the sides of the hips. And into your reclining captain's pose. You're staying this for two more cycles of the breath. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale, three. Take a knee with release the hands and cross your legs. This time we cross your left foot on top of your right thigh. Bending your left hand in between the thighs and then use the hands behind your right thigh in front of your left or the right shin. And your spine flat on the mat. Exhale, flex the feet. Hop your right knee closer to the chest. Feel stretch on your left foot. Shoot two cycles of the breath. Let lightning teach your pulse in your Exhale, two. One more breath. Inhale. And this time you squeeze your thighs towards each other with your left knee on top. And support your top part of the feet. Inhale, knees closer to the chest, and as you exhale, squeeze the heels to the sides of the hips. And we're staying and breathing. Taking the cycles of the breath. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath. In two. Inhale. And exhale, three. Take a new breath. Slowly across the legs. Straighten the legs to the sky, the easy option is your deeper deeper correct knee. Once again, don't need to your shoulder stand. So for your shoulder stand, if you need to come into Halasana first, you may come into it first. So use the hands to support your lower back and you point your toes to the sky. So hold the thighs inwards and keep looking forwards. Your toes, you're staying at the for five, four, 
be to add a line from here, slowly bring the toes, but touch the floor over your hands. Maybe supporting the bottom of the body, facing the hands. Holding on to Kalasana. If Kalasana is something that's too much for you, from your top of the grace, you the option to bring the hands behind your thighs. Keep the legs straight and hold the legs closer towards your chest and keep the legs down. Keep a little touch of Kalasana or your Kalasana. We're staying for five more. Four, three, two, and one. Halasana people, so you can move the knees to touch the forehead or the sides of the ear. If you have nothing about the knee, it's really hard to talk in that pose. Or you see, easy option if you think you're going to pass your mouth and ask me, I'm going to move your power and move the knees. I'm going to have you just close it to the chest. You see, if you can move the forehead to the chest. So for me, I'll stay here so that I can still talk. We're staying for four more. Three, two, and one. Lower wherever you are. See if you can, or if you're in the power of Asana, release the head down, straighten the legs to the front. If you did your Halasana, release the hands on the floor, slowly lower the shoulder blades, the mid back and hips down. So we're going to end up in your supine position with the spine flat on the mat. Here, and we're going to bring the hands beside the hips. We're going to do your modified Matsyasana. Inhale, press the palms down and the elbows, lift the chest. Exhale, crown of the head, the chin, the throat. Modified Matsyasana is perfectly fine already. Otherwise, if you want more, extend your arms and your feet 45 degrees to the front. Put it in a position that allows you to find lightness on the crown of the head and tension here in the middle of the back. And we're staying for five more. This one or this one? Four. So with your nose, three, two, and one. Bury your lift on the elbow, slide the shoulder blades in the back of the head on the floor. Easy option if you have your, well, the real uh, transition from your Chakrasana. Of course, if you know how to come into Chakrasana, just try to check if you have space behind you. Otherwise, the easy transition here to come up, under your closer to the chest, drop the body forwards and back forwards. And see if you can take your knees and step forward or jump back and jump around the leg as well. Upward facing down with an inward and as you see what happens. And we're down for our final inversion practice. We're going to do your headstand. So for your headstand, you want to make sure you're grabbing the elbow of the opposite arm before interlacing the hands. Easy option, just come into your dog tape. So again, I can just fix my hair. Okay, so as you come down to the forearms, you want to make sure that you're pressing the forearms down so you're not resting on your shoulders. You'll notice the difference of this one and this one. Walk the toes as close to the elbows as they can be, and see if you can lightly bring the crown of the head to touch the floor. Pressing the back of the head against your face or your palms. This is good already, otherwise, you'll be hugging one knee to the chest. Maybe both knees towards your chest. Or if you have the full expression of the pose, come into it. Maybe staying for 10 or 15 cycles of the breath. If you have your 90 degree headstand, you may come into it for 10 cycles of the breath. Come into the straight position again. And then start your knees and child's spots. If it feels right to come into the wall, you may come into the wall. And maybe I can give. 20 more counts in the pose. Again, no pressure in holding it as I count. This is just for us to know when is the time to release the pose. And then start counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Come in the child's pose just for five. One, two. 
3, 4, and 5. Taking your vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Your legs are exhale down. The space between the hands, we start to walk our hop and between the hands. And we come into your most comfortable seated position, maybe your half lotus or maybe your full lotus. If you have your full lotus, see if you can attempt to hold the big toe using the hand of the same side, like this one. Otherwise, if it's challenging, just grab the elbow of the opposite arm. Wherever you are taking in, not lengthen the spine of the chest. And as you exhale, down and your bottom body comes down. You can do it on your seat. And I'm breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. You can lift the chest and the head. So exhale, hands on top of your knees, palm and index fingers together. Body comes down. Keep your chest lifted, keep the navel in. And you're saying for five. Four, three, two, and one palms beside your hips. We're gonna do your OTBP again, and if you don't have full lotus, this most comfortable seated position is perfect. And you can do it on your seat. So maybe just pressing the palms down, lifting the buttock, keeping the feet down, maybe lifting one foot, or maybe lifting. If you have your full lotus, then see if you can lift your lower body away from the floor. Keep rolling the needle in and point your nose to the floor. We're staying for five, four, three, two, and we'll still be released. Next down. If lotus is kind of tight, you may just come into your most comfortable seated position. Now we're going to end our practice with a lion spread. Take an in breath long and deep. Here. Exhale, walk the hands forward. You have to sting the tongue out. Sigh it all out. For two more times. Inhale. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Sting the tongue out. One last time. Inhale. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Sting the tongue out. Inhale, walk the hands backwards. Don't try to take your thing, yes, uh, or just want to cross your legs. And your shavasana. Now, so for this particular part, I'm going to leave shavasana with you. Um, again, just try not to skip it because your shavasana will actually allow you to um, reset the body. Thank you for joining me and sharing your time and energy in this practice. Be well and safe. Namaste.